Hello, hello everyone, Zeptrocity here, and welcome back to the Minecraft Redstone Guide, oh yeah! So today we're going to be looking at uh, one command, um, this being the scoreboard command in particular, and this is because it's quite a complex command, there is a lot of things you can do with it too, which makes it a pretty awesome command, but once you get the hang of things, um, it is a nice command to mess around with, and you can do a lot of crazy circuitry with it, so I think we should get right into it. So first off, we have the actual scoreboard command right there, and when you type that in, we've got three categories, we've got objectives, players, and teams, as you can see on these signs right there. And these um, go into some more things, but we'll go over each one individually. So we've got the objective, so slash scoreboard, objectives, and then we get, yeah, a lot more stuff. So we have list here, so scoreboard objectives list, which will list all our um, objectives and on our scoreboard. We have add, so we can add a new objective to the scoreboard. We have remove, so we can remove an objective from the scoreboard. And then we, can, we have set display, so we can choose to display um, a certain objective on the sidebar, on the, I think it's default right hand side, but I'm not too sure. I think you can also change it in certain places with certain things, I'm not too sure. There's also the one where if you are in multiplayer, you can look at another person's head, and that it will be above um, the head right underneath the name tag, and another place is um, the player list, which I cannot show you in um, single player, but it, it, it is there, trust me. So let's have a little look at the objectives. So in these this command block right here, I've got a command here with scoreboard, objectives, add, player, money, dummy, money. And what we're doing here, we have the scoreboard, the command we need to use, objectives, and we're adding a brand new objective to it, and this will be called player money. So if we look at what we need to do to um, add this command, this objective I mean, um, so we go scoreboard objectives add, then we need a name, a criteria type, and display name, which is optional because it's got these, um, these square brackets right there. So we've got scoreboard objectives add player money, so that is our name for it, and then we've got dummy as the criteria type. There are a lot of criteria types. We can just um, do tab right there. Um, I think I can I have to write a name first and then tab, and then look at that. that. That's a lot. It's so much that my chat can't can't handle. But a lot of them is taken up by things like um, statistics um, and achievements, all of that. There are a lot. For, um, there are some that are like kill count. You, how many times you die, death count, or there's so many, you have to check the wiki for a full list. But we are using dummy here, and dummy basically means there is, it's pretty much no objective. The only way that you will gain any points in this scoreboard objective is by using command blocks, and that's how it works. So I quite like the dummy one because I can have a, I have a little bit of flexibility with it, I can add multiple things and so on and so forth. So we have scoreboard, objectives, add, player money, dummy, and the display name is money. So when we look at it, it will say money, but in command blocks, they'll, th they'll call it player money. These guys will tell each other it's called player money, but then when it talks to us, we'll see it as money, especially when it's shown in the sidebar. So right here, we, can s we have another one which can set the sidebar to player money, so we can push that button right there. Oh, before we do that, we probably should create the objective by pushing that button. So we've got our brand new objective, player money, and then we can set the display as player money. Now, now we need to do is um, now all we need to do is get someone onto the scoreboard so it will appear there. So I think I've got one here that will just give me um, some money. There we are. So now we have um, zero money at the side here, and to get more money, I just have some buttons here which will give us some money. So this uses the, uses the players um, category. You can actually find this. Um, actually, no, you can't blah, find it. Um, I will. I was going to talk about it a bit more over there, but I can explain a little bit. So um, we'll go over that in a bit. But that just gives me a bit of money, and I can subtract a bit of money too, or I can just set it to plain old zero, zero dollars. Um, and what we can also do is remove the sidebar by just having to set the, dis set the display for the sidebar to nothing. I don't have any objective after that, we do that and it clears it. 
So that's pretty awesome. So I can, you know, interchange between it being on the sidebar or not. So there are three different types of ways of displaying the objective, the sidebar, list, and below name. As I said before, we've got the sidebar here. We've got the below our name, especially in multiplayer. It would be around there somewhere. And then we also have the um, player tab, which is only, a val uh, only, uh, only viewable in multiplayer. So, yeah. Um, I've just got these here and basically we've got the players and add so we've got scoreboard players then add and then we just have the closest player which is me you can have names in there you can have the um, selectors that we looked at before we can have at a at E I don't think will really work because uh, scoreboards only applies to players and yeah, so we can do that. We've got remove here, which will take away one, and then we have set here, which will, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that a little later. Anyways, moving on, we can um, add a brand new objective here. I want to show you guys something cool we can do with this. So we've got a new one called play account. Now, I don't have any display name here because we don't really need to see this. Um, it's a dummy, meaning that we can only change the value of everyone's uh, total by using command blocks. So... We can push this, and that just sets my play account to zero. It's probably a good idea to remove this so you don't get confused with that. So I am now at zero at play account. Now these here just set me to different play account values. So at zero, this here does nothing. Now this here will set me to play account value of one. So I have one for my play account value. Now I push this button here, and now it says here in my text box, it says you are player one. So that's pretty cool. This one here sets my play count to a value of 2, and this now tells me I am player 2. So this is very can be very useful in some mini games and all of that, where you need um, different players and you want to give them different things and all of that. So you can distinguish between who's player 1, who's player 2, and who's player 3. So I can give myself a value of 3, and now it will say, um, it should say my name. Um, oops, I forgot my selector right there. Selectors are very important, so let's do that again. Uh, I, I just gotta, I've just gotta reset that. So that's player 2, and then now it says you are player 3. Awesome. So what we have is a test 4, and basically what it's checking for is if I have a play count score of 1 and a minimum score of 1 all at the same time. So this is a selector we did not go through, a selector argument we did not go through last episode. That's because I wanted to wait to explain the scoreboard. So now that we've got, understand how, you know, we've got objectives and all of that, what it does now, it will test the score, and then there's an underscore right there. Then it will check the name of your um, objective. So our one was called play account. We set it to play account right there. Not the display name. If our display name was high, um, then it would not be called high with the command blocks. Remember, the command blocks communicate with this name. They don't just they don't um, talk to each other with this display name. Display name is nothing at the moment because we don't need one. So basically, it will check if you have a play count of one or ha one no no less than one uh, equal to one less than or equal to one and then it also checks if you have a uh, play count of what greater than or equal to one so score play count minimum is the minimum value you can have for example if i set this to two now what would happen is if i was player two um, I think this would activate two, so you you can see there I am also it says I'm play one and play two, so that's a little crazy right there. So that's the maximum value, and this is the minimum value. So ma maximum value is two. For, so if I was player three, then it would not activate because um, the maximum value is two and minimum is one. So if I was um, actually if I set this here to zero and set my play count to zero then it won't activate 2 because the minimum value is 1. Now, I just set these both to the same so that it only recognizes um, if I ha am on that exact value right there, if I am exactly player 1. So that's how it can tell if I'm player 1 or player 2. So that's pretty awesome. And I just have a tell raw command. And that just says, you are player 1, you are player 2, and so on and so forth. So that's how that works. And that is pretty awesome. Okay, so now we have the players category. So we looked at the objectives category. Now we we are looking at the players category. We saw a bit of it already. So we can 
so before we can we saw we can set um, certain objectives so for example um, well, objectives now we're looking at player so we can ha look at that we've got um, players I mean we've got set add remove reset and list set will set a player's of score in, in an objective to a certain value so for example we could set our um, set set me is atrocity um, my play account and I can set it to 7 and every time I activate it it, it will continuously set me to the value of 7 then we have add which basically just adds on a certain value so if we add 7 we'll go 14 then 21 28 and so forth and then we have remove, which will do the opposite of add. It will just subtract 7. If we have 7 as our value we wish to subtract, we could go for 5 if we want to. Now we have 23, 18, 13, 8, and so on. Then we have reset here, which will just um, completely reset my um, thing to reset all my scores. So all my scores on my objectives are is reset reset so now I have a value of nothing on my objectives not the zero but nothing all right zero is an actual number it in the terms of coding and all of um, scoreboards and all of that zero is thought of as a number so if I reset myself I'm nothing at the moment I'll have to set myself to um, zero so set zaptrocity play account I forgot the players. Whoops, he daisies. There we are. Now we can set myself to zero, and then I can, you know, add and subtract and all of that. So that's what you have to do when keeping that in mind. Now we also have list here. So we go scoreboard players list, and that will just show you who is on the scoreboard being tracked. And there's only me because I'm in a single player world. Um, hopefully, Hero Brian doesn't show up on that. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, that's what it will do. It will show you who's being tracked on the scoreboard, which is pretty awesome. While we're here, I can also show you the objectives and list that as well. So there we are. Now it gives us quite a lot of information. Um, oh, looking at the wrong one. We've got list there. So we've already seen the two that I have on the scoreboard. Play count displays as play count and is type dummy. So this shows us our display name, which is basically copied off the um, command block name that it uses to com communicate with each other. We also have player money, displays as money, that's our display name, that's how we are going to see it as, and it is type dummy, which means it can only be modified by command blocks. So that's pretty awesome. Now, we should move on to the teams. Alright, teams, that's another aspect. Now, this is pretty much cut off from those two. Those two are kind of uh, intertwined with each other because, you know, you set an objective and then especially with the dummy command you can add and subtract using the players and basically they kind of fit together nicely. Teams, however, is completely different and there are a lot of subcategories underneath the teams category. So I've got a list here that will list us the current teams and we can do that there but I don't think it's even necessary because we can see there are no teams registered on the scoreboard. Now we can add one, we can add its name and display name, we can do that right now if we so desire. So let's add teams add and let's add a team called blue and um, display name blue. Sure, because we, are, we, we, we can do that, you know, blue and blue. I don't even need to type in the display name because it will just copy over the blue. So yeah. Now we also have remove which can remove teams. Um, Empty can kick everyone in the team out. Join will let a player join the team. Leave will uh, make a player leave their team. And then options go into a few more things. But let's go over this. So I can join a team. So for example, we've got that blue team. Teams join and um, team name. So we can see the parameters right there. Team is blue and that I want me to join. So is that atrocity. And then now I am in team blue. Now I'm not too sure if um, there's a list, there is, I'm not too sure, uh, let's find out myself, it will say there, blue has one player, awesome. So what we can do is I can actually leave, um, teams leave, and uh, there we are, it just removes me, and I think you can also do, um, you know, 
the closest player or me, but it cannot remove me because I'm not in a team, so I can join the get join the team again and then leave and there we are we can leave and certain people can leave another thing we can also do is scoreboard teams empty blue and that will actually remove everyone in that team it will kick everyone out and that can come in handy especially after a game um, if you want if you want to completely reset a team so that can be useful now for options, we have three here. We've got Friendly Fire, Color, and Sea Friendly Invisibles. So they're pretty self-explanatory. Friendly Fire just means that um, the people in the team cannot hit each other and kill each other and all of that. I think environmental damage will still take place. So if someone drops an anvil on someone, um, nothing can be done. I'm not too sure though uh, if the game recognizes an anvil as... Um, damage or not I'm not too sure but we can basically we can do scoreboard teams option and um, am I doing this right scoreboard teams option and then we have our team blue and then we can act, let's go for the color color value well and then we can set that we can just use tab to see what colors there are there's black dark blue so so many so how about we go for a good yellow no blue <laughs> a yellow uh, what am I thinking Yellow for the team named blue. Weird. We also have a reset here, which will reset the color. So that's pretty awesome. There we are. We we, we are now blue. Awesome. And um, we have friendly fire, which you can set to true or false. And see friendly invisibles to true and false. That means you can see um, invisible pe players in your team. So that's pretty awesome. Now, over here... I have another selector argument that we did not go over in the last um, episode, and that is the team selector argument, which will basically t um, search for if you're in that team. So if we push this button here, um, hopefully it will say... Okay, that was some funny mishaps, but I've got this one here, which should say... Um, let's capitalize that. There we are. Now it's um, registering, so it says our name, which is actually in blue because we have set our team to be blue, so all player names will be blue pretty much in the team. And there we are, so that will, there's the select argument there, team equals to blue. Now if we were kicked out, so teams empty, let's just empty that really quickly, blue, and now it does nothing. But if we add a new one, so we're adding a new team called red and we'll set that color to red there we are and now i join red there we are now we push the button it will say my name because i am now in team red so that's how that works and it's pretty cool so that's pretty much all you really need to know about scoreboard once you can use this you can do some fancy things especially with the selector arguments you can do something like this um, example right here. You can do a play account. Um, you can do a currency system with the money. There are a lot of things you can do, especially with teams as well. You can do, you know, certain teams can be teleported to a certain area because you have the select argument and all of that, which is pretty awesome. So um, if you are interested, you can look at that a little more. You can also check the wiki for some more answers, but that's about all I can really teach to you guys about the scoreboard so i hope you found this useful and enjoyed as always and until then i'll see you guys soon so thank you for watching i'll catch you guys next time